Hey guys, so a lot of you have been watching my Kodi video uh, running on the Raspberry Pi and you've gone to download the image um, but they seem to have changed the format and they're not letting you download just the raw image they're actually compressing that up now um, and I guess that's to kind of save their own bandwidth um, so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through um, how to actually install uh, that file so when you go to um, openlec.tv keeps doing that dot tv and you go to downloads and you scroll down here in the openlec 506 disk image when you go to download that here look 5.06.image.gz is the GZ that's throwing people. This is basically just a form of um, compression. So a bit like RA or uh, ZIP um, from yesteryear. So this is basically the same thing. So all you need to do is really download that file, which I'm sure you've already done because you've discovered that you can't open it. If you go to Google, like we all do. Don't know why that's happened. Search for a program called 7-Zip. And here, um, download this. Download 64-bit, which I assume you've got a reasonably modern machine, so uh, running a 64-bit operating system. So that's the one that you would download. So it's a really, really small download, so I don't need to cut it. So simple installation, just next, next, next. I've already got it installed, so oops, just say yes to that. Once that's done, mm, no, that's fine. Once that's done, when you go to open your file. I always find I get an error message. Now it might be just my machine. If I open it by double uh, double clicking, I get that. So what I do is if you right click on it and go to the seven zip menu and then say open archive. And that kind of basically just forces the image into the program. You could also run the program and do a file open and do it that way if you wanted. There's there's different ways of doing it. So it brings up that, and that is the disk image that you need. So simply drag that out to wherever you want to put it. I'm just going to dump it there for ease. And it should whiz through. There it is. <coughs> and that's the image there that you burn to your SD card to put into your Raspberry Pi. So just to cover again on um, how to burn that using a program called Win32 Disk Imager. Very popular, just Google it and find the links for that. Um, so all you do here is click on the little icon, go to wherever you put it, which in my case was the desktop. Um, make sure your SD card's in there, obviously, and then click right there. Uh, that'll burn out the image um, to the SD, pop it in your Pi, boot it up, and have some fun. So that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like, please do uh, give me a thumbs up uh, or subscribe if you want to see more content. And thanks for watching. Until next time.